Hey everyone, so through the years of Bloxburg, there have been a lot of builders who don't get the recognition that they deserve, so today I thought I would shine a light on them and show what they have built. Now, most of these builds will come from Twitter because that's the social media platform I am most active on, but if you have any other ones, you can always link them in the comments. But yeah, I'm most active on Twitter, so there won't be a lot of Instagram builds or TikTok or whatever because I'm not really active on there. So today, we're going to do a round of more recognition, I guess. <laughs> Let's get into it. So the first person on my list is What Player, and What Player is an amazing builder, probably one of my favorite ones who has done a lot of builds in Bloxburg. I could never, honestly. But the detail in his builds and like the, the vibe he creates around it is just always so amazing. I'm scrolling through whatever he posted, but he did post a lot of troll stuff as well. <laughs> So for example, this has cars, this has an entire house, this has everything that you would want. Another one with cars, but there's honestly so much more to discover because I've been scrolling forever. <laughs> for example, this is so amazing though. Like this wall that he created and then the Mac, <laughs> which is like, <laughs> dang. <laughs> I'm in shock with these builds. Then next up we have a Joe Mama. I didn't even like that tweet yet. Oh my goodness. Joe Mama is one of these amazing detailed builders who also always adds like a story to their build. There's always a theme going. There's not like 20 different styles mixed matched and it just works really well. For example, the curtains over here that shine through the bed and then this bath that is floating on top of water is just so amazing. And the original ideas they have is just, I could never. Then we go on to Thuns. Thunzard? I, I don't quite know how to pronounce it, I'm sorry if I did it wrongly, but they do amazingly detailed builds. For example, this car must have taken forever, but it looks so nostalgic in a way that I can't just like... I couldn't imagine building that, I, I just could never. This is so amazing. But also their houses are just so good. This is like... the way they detail is just so amazing and I could never with all of the colors and stuff like that because this build does indeed have a lot of colors but it doesn't feel like it and it feels just perfect and I don't know how to create that. It makes me so jealous and I, I despise people for that. <laughs> And this is their interior, just really, really detailed as well. Then next up we have a Deplin, and Deplin deserves way more recognition as well. They also build to a team and they really can stick to that and make it feel like you would see that in real life and I just enjoy that so much. The way they take pictures of their builds as well, this is like a modernized cottage, which I, I don't know, you immediately recognize it as you see it and I kind of love builders who can convey that story to you where you can see that it's an old building that was worked on and just like, I don't know, the way the, the story works with these builds always gets me and I just love that so, so much. This is another one of their builds, like this window, I would never use it in an older type of build, but here it just looks perfect and I just don't see these things, but they do and that's amazing. <laughs> then next up we have a Floaty and Floaty always has the most detailed and realistic builds, but always with a touch of humor in them. For example, Floats Tacos, but there's a lot more buildings that he made that are like, they are amazing and they always have like a hint of humor in them, which I kind of love. For example, this one as well, this is a laundry basket, so <laughs> I don't know. This is like such an obvious joke, but it's so cool and it's so well done. But I think he really, really shines out in a tiny detailed build. For example, this science lab over here is just amazing and I could never. And he just goes about it like it's easy and I just, I can't. <laughs> but yeah, his, his tiny detailed builds are so amazing, but also his house is like literally everything. He's one of those people that can probably do everything in life and <laughs> I don't know, <laughs> just succeeds. He is getting more recognition though, which I love, so that is well deserved. Then next up we have Achilles Man. I only found out Achilles Man like a few weeks ago, I think, but I'm really amazed at what he builds. So for example, this camper over here is just, that looks so much fun to just go in there, live in that and just role play in it and stuff like that. But then like recently, he came out with a water park and that looks just so exciting. I wish the slides work because honestly, I would play in that so much. We have a tube slide, which probably was a lot of work to do. I've been thinking about doing a video with slides where you can go onto the slide and then slide further with all of these things. 
but I haven't gotten to it just because it's so much work. Yet here he is presenting an entire pool with a flamingo floaty and whatever. So definitely one of the better builders out there as well and I'm just so amazed at what he does. Also always with a hint of fun and a hint of nostalgia like camping, like a pool. Just some really fun stuff to build. Then next up we go to T Builds. And this build made me like really a fan of them. I've always had something with yachts, with van life, with tiny houses, and this just screams like I want to live in that. <laughs> I don't know. It's just something that I really love to see. The amount of detail in it as well is just so amazing. And I wish I could build like that because honestly I would have a yacht in Bloxburg and that looks just so cool. And then this really artistic attic slash hallway that they made is so cool and it looks simple but it's really hard to do and I think they did a really good job at blending it in so it looks amazing. Then next up we have Diaths. I'm sorry if I pronounce that wrongly. I haven't seen too many builds from them but the builds I have seen just look amazing. Same thing with the theme, the colors, perfect. I could never and I'm just so jealous seeing that. They are really good at the Victorian type of style. They are also really good at doing modern builds. A bit of it all, I don't know, I could never. And if you follow them, you will also see a lot of nice builds from other players because they retweet a lot of builds as well, so that's amazing. Honestly, we have so many good builders in Bloxburg now, I can't even make one video about it. Then we move on to Terrorizing Turd is also one of my favorite builders in Bloxburg because their builds are always usually really, really detailed and with a hint of darkness. Also some original ideas, so this build is from 2019. I had never seen someone make such a nice drawing just with tables, like imagine you could do that. I would never be able to do that. Now I feel like they haven't built in a while, but that's probably because their buildings take months to make. And the buildings they do add just, I don't know, I'm always shocked with the amount of detail. They always use the right materials, they always bring the right story and the right vibe to it, and I'm always shocked when they upload a build. So it probably takes months to finish something, but once they finish it, it is so good. Like the eye over here is just wow. I am in utter shock. Then we move on to a good friend of mine, which is Gabby or Gab's official, and they always come up with these nice tips that a lot of people tend to use. A lot of the tips were made by Gabby, so <laughs> credit to her for most of these. She likes to play around with shapes and tries to find something fun that she can add to her builds or accidentally discovers it for some reason. But she is also a really good and detailed builder, and I'm always super super proud what she builds so it's just always so vibey for example this Christmas house over here with the nice windows I've been there and it looked amazing <laughs> and of course we cannot forget about Daniel Perkins who is probably one of the most realistic detailed builders in Welcome to Bloxburg they have made the Louvre they also made a Victorian house if it loads, that would be so amazing. And the way he goes about it, it's just amazing. Look at the detail on the ceiling, look at the fireplace, just everything has a time spent into it. I wonder how long this one room took just alone because everything is done custom. I could never. Same with this bedroom, ceilings are done, the lights are custom, couches are custom, the bed is custom made. Like there's people who do one custom thing and it looks amazing but then he goes and does like 15 custom things in one room and I'm just always so shocked at like <laughs> these outcomes. This is so amazing. His cathedrals are everything. Once you go in them, you think you're the worst builder in the world. Don't ever visit one of his cathedrals. His builds will make your computer go to space and light on fire. Then I'm gonna do one more builder, but then I'm going to end it. This is Rusty Pluviam. You probably heard of him. He has done very amazing builds as well, like for example these cities. I think he's really good at scaling. Some of his builds, like this one, look like they are way bigger than a 50 by 50 plot, just because he is so good at scaling items. It looks good in-game as well. And for example, this castle, but I feel like he hasn't uploaded in a while now. Maybe he's building something big we don't know but they always turn out amazing like this is just so good so these are some of the really good builders on welcome to Bloxburg there are a ton more builders on Twitter if you don't have Twitter yet I highly suggest making it because there's a lot of builders who have a lot of detail in their builds they're so inspiring but can also make you feel like you suck honestly <laughs> um, but 
there are so many good builders on Welcome to Bloxburg that is literally insane and these were just some of them. They are not even probably the best ones but they do deserve more recognition. But there is hundreds upon hundreds of really good builders in Welcome to Bloxburg now and it's so amazing to see what people build and I'm always in shock as to how people create things. I always want to recreate it and then fail. And it's just so nice to look at, honestly. So that was it for today, guys. I hope you enjoyed this video. Go follow these people on Twitter. If they have a YouTube, I will probably link it in the description as well if I don't forget about that, because I am quite forgetful, but I will try my best to remember it. Thank you guys so, so much for watching. Hit that like button and please subscribe.